Alrighty, everyone, here we are with our pictures and let's get started with the soles of the feet. Uh, we are going to not necessarily map the skin because there is no real skin reflex, but again, uh, just I'm going to talk about this in pathology and areas of emphasis uh, towards the end of the lecture, but this idea that it's not um, the entire skin of the foot that we're looking at. We are going to look at the individual reflex where the, the skin is compromised on the extremity, but also what that area represents to see deeper patterns of dysfunction. But it does um, bring us back to this idea that you need to know your zones. So first and foremost, we'll map our shoulder line guideline below the toes, our diaphragm guideline below the ball of the foot, proximal head of the fifth metatarsal, brings us to our waistline guideline. And then we have the pelvic line guideline um, just above the heels, okay? So those are our guidelines. Um, just to give you an idea of some specific reflexes that we're gonna talk about in the areas of emphasis. Um, we have the solar plexus, which is in line with the third toe um, on that diaphragm guideline. The diaphragm guideline is also the diaphragm reflex. So easy one right there. Um, but also we have the pituitary pineal. So we're going to talk a little bit about the endocrine aspect associated with the skin. So the pituitary pineal is going to be in the center of the big toe on both feet. Then we have the thyroid. The thyroid is going to be on the medial aspect of the neck. Right in the center of the neck. Because it's right in the center of the throat. Right? Okay. Then we have the thymus. The thymus gland thymus right in that heart center because it does straddle um, it, that uh, esophageal respiratory space and then we'll do yellow again for pancreas oh nope gotta do kidneys first just kidding uh, just kidneying uh, that was a terrible joke. Okay, so kidneys are going to be half above and half below the waistline guideline. Um, normally in line with the third toe as well, just about. Uh, and then on top of the kidneys, we have the adrenals. The adrenals are a little bit tougher to draw because they're going to be so different on everybody. Um, but just know that we're going about halfway between the diaphragm and the solar, uh, the diaphragm guideline and the waistline guideline in line uh, in between the first and second toe. What you're actually palpating for, and we'll draw this really quick on the, on the feet, is you have this big toe flexor tendon here, um, that big toe flexor tendon and then you have the plantar fascia, and the plantar fascia kind of goes like this. I hope I'm not screwing up the drawing by doing this. Um, but the kidney reflex like C on this foot, it would be right about there. Yeah, just to give you an idea. But it's in between that really strong flexor tendon and the plantar fascia. There's that little nook uh, right in between the proximal heads of the first and second metatarsals. Anyway, now that I've bloodied up our drawing, uh, let's move on. So we have pancreas next, little bit on the right, little bit on the right, uh, and then mostly on the left. I'm running out of yellow. Okay. After the pituitary pancreas, thymus, kidney, adrenal, let's do reproductive on the other foot. So now we're gonna change pictures, or the other feet, I should say. Okay, so just to give you an idea, we'll run through our guidelines real fast. Shoulder line, diaphragm, waistline, and then pelvic. Pelvic, waistline, diaphragm, shoulder line. Ooh, fancy, I did it backwards. Same thing, just real quick. Ooh. There we go. Shoulder line, diaphragm, waistline guideline, and pelvic. Okay, so uh, for those of you that watch the reproductive system lecture, 
thank you. Uh, for new students who just got on board, don't worry about it. Um, but you'll recognize some of these points from the reproductive lecture. So on the medial malleolus, so we're looking at the medial view, that middle picture of the foot, we have that crescent-shaped reflex, which I'll draw in pink, which represents the uterus, uh, but also the prostate in men. And then we have uh, going across the dorsal aspect, which we'll draw on the dorsal aspect, that fallopian tube vas deferens reflex. So the tubes that basically connect um, from the core reproductive aspect, so uterus prostate, that central reproductive aspect, out into the more peripheral reproductive aspect, which will be, we'll use orange, the uh, ovaries testes reflex. So ovaries in women, testes in men, uh, and that is our reproductive space. Okay, pretty easy, nothing too complicated there. Uh, let's move on to our hands. Hands, hands, hands. Getting pictures for the hands. Okay, here we are, drawing our guidelines. Whoop. Gotta do something a little bit creative just to make sure that the guidelines are in line with what's happening structurally with the hands. Proximal head of the fifth metacarpal. And then in between the first and second row of carpals for the pelvic line. Okay, so let's start at the top with our pituitary pineal, center of the thumb, because the thumb is the big toe of the hand. Then we have the thyroid, which is going to be in our neck space. On the medial, or on the lateral aspect anatomically of the hands, but if we think of like the hands mirroring the feet, the thumbs representing the big toes, it would be the medial aspect. So stupid Western anatomy, trying to confuse us poor little reflexologists. Anyway, uh, thymus. Then kidney. Really important anatomical aspect because the kidney is in the belly of the thenar eminence. So when people have thenar issues, da 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 da, they're dehydrated. Okay, then we have the adrenal reflex right on top of that. Just a quick side note: everybody's heard that you should like hit that point um, right in the center of the thenar in order to take away a headache. They're actually pressing on the adrenal reflex. Fascinating. Then we have our pancreas reflex. Think about it, right left, or right left. So the left is going to be our pancreas for the majority. Little bit, little bit on the right. Can't really see that too well. Okay. Do, do, do. And then, and then we have our reproductive reflexes. So moving on to the dorsal aspect of the hands, just like we did with the dorsal aspect of the feet. Shoulder line, diaphragm line, waistline, pelvic. Shoulder line, diaphragm line, waistline, pelvic. Okay, so we have the uterus prostate reflex on the medial aspect. Then we have the fallopian tubes vas deferens. And then we're connecting more laterally into uh, zone five with our ovary testes. Pretty easy. If you wanted to even like talk about uh, the lymphatic aspect, which we'll talk about with um, the kidney, liver, lymphatic as being like detox trio, uh, we want to always recognize the dorsal valleys as that uh, standard lymphatic drainage 
aspect, but if you remember your stuff from the lymphatic system, uh, that is a little bit general, and we can really think of all the major joint reflexes as lymphatic portals, including, more specifically, the subclavian vein uh, right at the shoulder line guideline. Moving on to the face. Shoulder line guideline, the unibrow. Then diaphragm guideline, giving her a mask, extend the smile line, and then our pelvic line, right at the cleft of the chin. Okay. Pituitary pineal, right about at the pituitary pineal. Then we have thyroid. Then we have thymus. Then we have kidneys. Kidneys are actually going to be on either side of the lips. But again, for those of you that took the reproductive system masterclass, this will all be very familiar to you. The adrenal reflexes right on top of that. Just to refresh your memory, uh, the adrenal reflexes are halfway between the corners of the lips and the corners of the nose. That'll be right over the canine tooth. Okay. Uh, then we have pancreas, which is predominantly left-sided, goes right over the upper lip. So very interesting when people have acne just in this area. It's always blood sugar related. Okay, then we go reproductive, um, which is really nuanced uh, because the bladder is right here, but we have uterus prostate. Um, and for any of you who have done the uh, downloadable PDF charts, you'll see this very similar color scheme, the fallopian tubes, vas deferens, and then the ovary testes. Again, very common for people to get acne right in that space. And that's all pelvic reproductive. Fascinating. Okay, moving on to our last bit on the ears. Yay, ears. We have our shoulder line guideline just above the triangular fossa. We have our diaphragm guideline just below that triangular fossa. Let me outline the triangular fossa. That would help. Then we have the ridge between the Simba concha and the Cavum concha is going to be our waistline guideline and the pelvic line guideline just as that Cavum concha goes into the earlobe. Whoop, drop a marker. Pituitary reflex is going to be, I would really say that it's underneath that flap, that fold. I'd really want to hook underneath that fold to get into that space just because the pituitary reflex is kind of hidden within the skull, so I'd want to get underneath that to palpate for that reflex. Just, just some extra, extra knowledge for you. Thyroid right underneath that. Same thing with thyroid and same thing with thymus. I'd want to get into that space. Just because the endocrine reflexes are wrapped in tissues. Kidneys, very interesting. That line, we're going to get tucked right in through here. So if people get eczema right in through here or certain ear conditions, you know that it's kidney. Then the adrenal reflex, we're going to map it there, but really it's very, very deep into that fold I have found. So a little bit disconnected. Then we go into pancreas territory, which right ear, left ear. So this is pancreas. This is pancreas. That was a Sparta reference. Again, yellow's not showing up too good. Choose a different color, but it's probably too late. Okay, moving on to the reproductive space. Reproductive space is going to be actually in the, uh, the cavum concha. We're going to have our reproductive uterus aspect right through here, uterus prostate. Then we are going to have our fallopian tubes, vas deferens, 
and then ovary testes right in that groove. So when people complain of skin issues in that auditory opening, it's always going to be not just lower, di uh, not just reproductive, also lower digestive. Very important. Um, so that pretty much solves us for the various uh, reflexes associated with the skin. So I hope that you've enjoyed that.